You ever heard of a robot that can build an entire car in less than 90 seconds? I'm talking about a feat of engineering so precise, so incredibly fast, it sounds like something plucked straight from a distant future. Imagine installing the engine with millimeter precision, the massive block settling into place with an almost surgical grace. Welding over 400 joints in mere minutes, sparks flying in a mesmerizing dance of pure power. Painting the car body without a single touch, a perfect, unblemished coat materializing as if by magic. And perhaps the most mind-blowing part, spotting flaws. Before they even have a chance to happen, predicting imperfections that the human eye might never catch. Sounds like pure science fiction, right? A utopian vision of automated perfection, or perhaps a dystopian nightmare, depending on your perspective. Well, it's not. This factory is real. It's here, right now, changing the very fabric of manufacturing as we know it. It runs 24-7, tirelessly, relentlessly, churning out vehicles day and night. And the craziest part? It barely has any humans inside. Step onto the factory floor and you won't hear the cacophony of human voices, the clang of tools, or the rush of a bustling workforce. Instead, there's a different symphony. Just the soft, almost hypnotic zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
They don't just work individually. They operate in perfect sync, like an incredibly complex, meticulously choreographed orchestra, each robotic arm playing its part in a harmonious industrial ballet. The efficiency is breathtaking. This isn't an isolated phenomenon. Look at BYD's mega factory in China, a true testament to what extreme automation can achieve. Here, over 90% of the entire production process is fully automated. The human element is so minimal that one skilled worker can effectively oversee and manage the output of 30 robots at taunts, all from the quiet command of a single screen. Even crazier, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. Some of those robots aren't just building cars. They are building other robots. Yeah. Machines? Making machines. It's a recursive loop of creation, hinting at a future where the manufacturing process becomes almost self-sustaining. The results of this robotic revolution are staggering. In 2023, BYD reported an astounding production error rate of just 0.01%. Let that sink in. That means out of every 100,000 cars produced, only one had even a minor, almost imperceptible flaw. Humans, with all our inherent variability and potential for fatigue, could simply never match that level of consistent perfection. Not with a million years of experience, not with endless training. The machines have achieved a level of precision that transcends human capability in repetitive, high-volume tasks. And this isn't just limited to BYD. Look at Tesla's gigafactories in the US. They utilize custom-designed, 10-ton robotic arms, colossal giants of steel and motors, that move with the surprising grace of a professional ballerina. Massive, yes. Silent, often. But above all, deadly accurate. Their sheer scale and precision redefine what's possible in automotive assembly. Now that robots can build, test, inspect, and even learn and adapt, where does that leave the human being in this rapidly evolving industrial landscape? What becomes of the engineer? whose blueprints are now translated into robotic code. What about the builder, whose hands once shaped the metal and tightened the bolts? And the craftsman, who used to feel the machine come alive beneath his touch, whose expertise was ingrained in every part he assembled? Is our primary job now reduced to merely watching these metallic giants perform the tasks we once considered our domain? Or is there a new way back into the process, a transformed role that leverages our unique human strengths in a world increasingly defined by automation. We're living through a massive, undeniable shift from human-led manufacturing to machine-led creation. The gears of industry are grinding forward, and we are caught in their powerful momentum. And the real fundamental question that we must collectively grapple with is this. Are robots simply stealing our jobs, replacing us en masse and leaving us behind? Or are we perhaps simply entering a future where the very definition of job has changed forever? A future where human ingenuity shifts from brute labor to creative oversight, from repetitive tasks to complex problem solving and ethical guidance? This isn't just a video about cars, about steel, or about automated assembly lines. It's a video about us. It's about our future, our roles, and how we adapt to a world where our creations are becoming our collaborators. What do you think? How do you see the future of work unfolding with these incredible advancements?